Okay, part two. Part two of this. Okay, so, um, again, like I was saying, you know, with the cheating thing and all that, because I get a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of women, you know, sending me messages about, you know, my husband cheated on me, my boyfriend cheated on me, I caught him with this one, that one, this one, that one. How do I deal with it? How did you deal with it and all that? Well, the thing is, um, in the beginning, when my husband first started cheating on me, you know, I began to get really, really spiritual. I started praying a lot. I began reading a lot of Stormy or Martin books like The Power of the Praying Wife, The Power of the Praying Woman, and all that stuff. I started, I started praying a lot, okay? And I started, um, I started internalizing a lot. You know what I mean? And I start believing and thinking, you know, what is it that I'm not doing as a wife to make my husband go out here with this one, that one, and that one, and this one, okay? But then, you know, when I when I begin to shut my husband down, you know, and, and, and wouldn't give myself to him anymore, that's when he decided, you know, he wanted to fight for the marriage. He was like, you know, I'm not going to let you go, yada, yada, yada. I'm going to go to counseling whether you go or not. So he opted to go to counseling, and which he did. He went to counseling and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, the bottom line is they chalked him up with that Eric Benet syndrome. So, and I was like, you know, still to me, that wasn't, that wasn't enough. Because I'm like, you know, you know, one time, okay, two times, okay, three times, damn. You know, but all those many times, that was habitual. That was truly habitual. And then I just became numb. I became completely numb. And I was like, look. And then, you know, my mama, you know, she would constantly be like, well, you know, you know, me and, your, me and my dad, me and your dad been together all these many years. And this is just what a man do. And he's, Tony's just being a man. And. You know, don't divorce him, Tina, and all this kind of stuff. He has a damn good job and this and that and the other. And which he does. He, you know, he has a really, really good job. And I guess, you know, and then he used that power over me still. You know what I mean? He still uses that power over me because sometimes he'd be like, you know, well, I'll go and I'll buy you this if you do this. You know, I'll buy you that if you do that. You know what I mean? And it's like now, you know, I kind of... Well, now that I have a man in my life, you know, I try not to allow that power to control me anymore, okay? And so it's like, you know, I don't want to sleep with him. I, I mean, we already got that established. That's just not going down. So um, so we became friends. So he was like, okay, well, you know, you don't want to be with me, yada, yada, yada. And over there in the other house, he's in the other house all by himself, all by himself. And so, but um, he is dating. I'm not going to lie to you and say that he's not because he is dating, which that's typical. I'm not surprised. But, you know, the lady that he's dating now, she's pretty cool. And I guess she's she got to be cool with the arrangement because I guess she's still with him. You know what I mean? So, um, and she knows that um, when he puts it out there, it regardless, I'm never going to divorce my wife. I'm not going to divorce my wife. And basically, she just, uh, you know, something to do. <laughs> something to do. And so, um, and then I battle with this all the time about this divorce thing. I battle with it, battle with it, battle with it. And so, um, he's um, also reserved. So, it's like, you know, when, he, when they put him on a deployment list and stuff like that, then it's like, okay, he's going to go, he's not going to go. And then, you know, it's hard to divorce them like that when they, you know, on deployment. Listen, they're under like this covenant, whereas, you know, the Soldiers and Sailors Act that, you know, you can't divorce them and do these di different things to them while they're deployed. So, so anyway, so I went through years of that. And um, so um, I just, bottom line is, I guess I just done the same thing that all the rest of women do. You know what I mean? Hillary Clinton and and uh, shit, Tiger Woods' wife and damn, everybody else that husbands cheated on them, but they got money. You see what I'm saying? They got money. They done cheated on their wives, but guess what? 
She's over there in a plush ass house. She's sitting over there. The kids are taken care of. They're in activities and this, that, and the other. She's driving a beautiful car that's comfortable for her and the kids to drive in. She got money in the bank and her purse is heavy. So I'm not hating on them. I'm not hating on them at not one bit. You know what I'm saying? If I was Elon, I wouldn't divorce Tiger's ass either. Roll with it. Because them chicks right there, I mean, they getting little hush money. But shit, when it's time for her to get paid, they gonna, she going to have some friends at the bank. Okay? She's going to have some friends at the bank. So, she, you know, just, just be cool. Ride the shit out. And I'm not saying that I'm condoning that type of behavior with a man. But hey, you know, when you date a man or with a man that, that has certain things... You know, it's women going to be coming out of the woodwork for them. You know, it's going to be, I mean, come on. I mean, let's face it, you know. That's just the way it is. And there's so many women out here that, you know, that are struggling, you know, um, trying to make ends meet. You know, baby daddy ain't, you know, he ain't coming through like he's supposed to, you know. And so they get them a sugar daddy or whatever have you or get this dude on the side that's helping him out. You know, I can't hate on that game either. You know what I'm saying? I can't hate on that. But I guess, you know, <laughs> wow, y'all, you know what, we should have an open forum. You know what, I, what would be so cool if, like, a conference call, like, that type of stuff, and just sit around and, you know, just go over this stuff, like, woman to woman stuff, because I'm telling you, y'all, your girl, oh, my goodness, oh, my God, okay? Now, see, excuse me, like I previously said, you know, we... We, let's see, we moved out of the house together, let's see, in 06, and that's when, damn, y'all, that's when I began to, you know, date different people and all that, and him too, and so, um, you know, I started, you know, dating athletes, um, well, I only dated one athlete, don't even let me front, or, and, you know, musicians and stuff, and that's a whole nother beast. That is a whole nother beast. So, it's like, you know, y'all, your girl can write a book, okay? She can seriously write a book. And I guess that's why I'm so raw. I guess that's why, you know, I cuss a lot and all that stuff. Because I'm holding in so much stuff. You know, so much drama, you know? And it's like the only way I can get it out is with my tongue. And that's, boom, get it out, you know? So, that's why sometimes... My dictation is like, damn, she said that, god damn, you know, because that's one way for me to basically release, okay? So that's just the way I do things, you know, everybody do their own shit different, but this is how I do my shit, okay? So don't hate on the game, you know? So anyway, I'm certain that this is close to my time. Um, if you have any questions in reference to this, um... Get your girl up. Let me know. Um, I, you see, I having a problem with, you know, answering um, you guys' questions. Some of the things though are a little bit so that I can't, you know, you know, I don't just, I can't answer. But you know, certain things that I'm open with, you know, I haven't, I haven't a problem with answering the questions as well as I can come with it. So anyway, on that note, I say unto you, it is eight. 57 p.m. California time. I'm getting ready to watch American Idol, so I'm going to sign off for the evening and I shall talk to you guys tomorrow. Hugs and kisses. Good night.